Okay. So it's the end of the procedure. So we are uh, going to maintain anesthesia. We're going to set the um, oxygen to 100%. And we're going to put the APL valve on five centimetres of water. We're going to suction the patient. We're going to consider insertion of a bite guard. And we're going to coordinate the full team to transfer the patient to the patient's bed. To assume the patient is now in bed, we're going to optimise the patient's position on bed, sit them upright with the knees bent. We're going to check neuromuscular function and we're going to reverse if required. Once reversed, make sure the team are happy with the extubation plan. Switch off the anaesthetic agent. If using remifentanil, Maintain remifentanil infusion until anaesthetic is gone. Titrate down the remifentanil until the patient is awake and breathing to command. Assist one is to ensure a new face mask, angle piece, catheter mount and HME filter are assembled and ready. The intubator will turn off the ventilator and awaits the patient's end expiration. Assist 1, on command of the intubator, will disconnect the ventilator, leaving the HME filter attached to the patient and attaches the new circuit to the ventilator. The intubator covers the patient's face with an Inco sheet, waterproof, waterproof side up, encasing the ET tube, catheter mount and HME entirely. Ensure the pilot balloon is accessible to Assist 1. Intubator to undo tie. On the intubator's command, assist one to deflate the tube. Intubator removes the ETT, encasing it within the INCO and places it directly in the orange bin. Assist one immediately places the face mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Assist one turns on the ventilator. To manspont, five litres flow, APL by set to five. Step one, step two, and step three.